David Elder and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Actor and San Antonio native Ricardo Chavita joins us on a mission to find some of the spiciest bites in the Alamo City. That is a very spicy wing. Wow. And we're heating things up in the Texas Eats outdoor kitchen with the Shiner Beer Brat recipe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boom. Oh, my goodness. I'm going for two. Plus, we're traveling up to Dallas to try some award-winning bites at the State Fair. Peanut butter paradise. That's the bite. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is in Bernie at a Central American restaurant serving up some authentic pupusas. Let's go inside Casa Amaya. Joining us now is the owner out here at the restaurant, Albert Amaya. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being here with us. Of course. I mean, the food out here is incredible. You have so much color. And I mean, just look at all the different options that are out here on the table. Talk to me about, about the food, where it came from, and where these recipes started. Well, the recipes are from a young lady that works for me. She uh, used to work for her mom back in El Salvador. I also have food from Guatemala. We also have for the people from Honduras. Now, these right here, you said pupusas. These are very popular. Talk to me about what they are and what goes inside of them. Those are what they call revueltas. They will have cheese, beans, and pork. And then, of course, they're topped with uh, what we call curtido, which is the pickled cabbage uh -huh. and salsa. All right, so I want you to get the same thing. Get your bite ready with me, Brigitte. I'll do it the way we do it in El Salvador. How do you do it in El Salvador? In El Salvador, we take a piece of, uh -huh. of the pupusa like this. Then we grab some of, oh, the, of, the, <laughs> of the cabbage like that. Uh -huh. And then we put a little bit of the salsa. And then, Cheers. salud. Salud. <laughs> there we go, the pupusas. Give me some love, man. Woo! Mm. That is incredible. The pupusas come with different fillings on them. We got the bean and cheese, and it's just perfect. It's the right amount of the silk beans that are on the inside. It's that special refried bean that they make here. Plus, you got the cheese, and then it's that proportionate amount of masa that's on there as well. I mean, they're crunchy on the outside, super tender and stretchy on the inside. You put that salsa, some of the cabbage on there, it's where it's at. It's so good. Talk to me more about the dish in the front. What's going on with that one? That is uh, a taquito hondureño. That is filled with chicken, and then they put a special cabbage, uh, red onions, aderezo. And what is that? That is just like what you would call Louis dressing type thing. Cheers right. to you. Taquitos hondureños. There we go, that's the bite. Wow. Give us more love on that one. Oh my goodness. These taquitos have an incredible crunch on there. It has all of that cabbage on the outside as well. I mean, different sauces. I love the salsa that comes on there, but you have some of that creamy salsa as well. The chicken has so much flavor on the inside, super tender, juicy, and then crunchy. It's a really good texture combination and great flavor. All right, another dish on the table right in front of you. Talk to me about this dish. Well, uh, yuca, as you probably know, is a root. We can have it steamed or you can have it fried. It has pieces of pork. We have uh, a special kind of cabbage again. We, we add some extra cheese and other ingredients to make it even better. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.
does look a little bit chaotic, but a little bit, but it looks delicious. It's a delicious mess. This right here, that's like fried chicken. You got the chicken breast, and you can see all that texture on the outside, that coating. That's the bite. I mean, it's creamy, it's delicious, it's savory, and it's got a great crunch on there. This is where it's at. I mean, this is a fantastic dish. It's fun, it's big, it's a lot of food, and it's really good. Mr. Amaya, thank you so much for having us out here. You guys, Casa Amaya up here in Bernie. It is so much delicious stuff from around Central and South America. I mean, this is what you want to get. You have the papusas that you want to get. I mean, the pork dishes, the chicken, even the taquitos, everything rocks. You can also get mango now, the desserts, mm -hmm. beer, wine. It's all rocking out here. This is where it's at, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you got a little on your nose there. <laughs> Now, we're cruising to the north side of San Antonio. Let's go inside Max and Louis. Joining me now is the owner out here at the restaurant, Drew Glick. Thank you so much for having us All out right. here. All right, good to see you. And, you know, right in front of us, baked goods. We're inside of the bakery portion of the restaurant. And this is so much stuff. What are some of the new things that you brought to the menu? You know, some of the things like our challah bread here, we bake a thousand loves of this challah a wow. week to make our French toast and all our other items that go with challah. Right. And then all these baked goods we make from scratch. Uh, Italian cookies, icebox cookies. This is an Eastern European sweet bread called babka. There's so many things that we're gonna go check out, but the kitchen is where the magic is happening. Absolutely. And that's where we're gonna go next, it's right? It's exciting. Now we're inside the kitchen here at Max and Louis, and I'm so excited to see the three items that you're gonna be making for us today. What's the first one? First one is what we call our Max and Louis. It's a half a pound burger, triple decker, with a Reuben on top. Our half pound Angus burgers go on the flat top. This is our famous rye bread. So we flip it, and then cheese, cheese, cheese. Yes, cheese. We put a little thousand on the sandwich. And then we take this uh, burger, put it right on here. Another touch of thousand. We put the next slice of bread. Almost forgot another thousand. <laughs> and there's your pastrami and our sauerkraut. And guess what's next? Thousand Island. Gotta have a little Thousand Island. Juice it up. And then that goes right in here, just like this. That looks incredible. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cheers okay. to you. The Max Cheers. and Louis. The Max and Louis. Oh my goodness. The Max and Louis sandwich is incredible out here. The pastrami that's getting sourced right from New York coming in with the sauerkraut. Then you have that rye bread that's toasted on there, Swiss cheese, and the patty that comes on there. Now they get a little bit of char flavor on the grill, flip it, finish it on the flat top. You put that all together with that pickle on there as well that's sourced from New York. Absolutely incredible. The whole thing just works. It's a lot of sandwich, but if you're feeling extra hungry, that's the one to get. All right, what is the next item you're gonna be showing us here? So we call it the BFS. What does that stand for? Burger, fries, shake. So these are our brioche buns that we bake in-house. Okay, what kind of cheese are you putting on here? This is Swiss cheese. All right. Fries. All right, so that's the F, and this right here is the S. You got the shake already made. So here's the shake. I made a vanilla shake. We put a little chocolate drizzle on the glass. So these go in here, just like so. Oh my gosh. Here's our burger. And I'm gonna just grab some tomatoes and some lettuce. All right, okay. pickle knife on top. Pickle knife on top. And now we take this, and believe it or not, that goes on top of that. We give a little push. So fries. Burger, fries, shake. shake. So the concept is grab the burger, and that goes on here. Take a sip of your shake. I think you need a fry. Yep. And then it's time for the burger. Burger, fries. Cheeseburgers, french fries, milkshakes, it's just a classic combination. On top, you get a cone of french fries. On top of that, you get your burger. And it comes out in this really cool presentation, just like a tower, right? And you know those milkshakes are made 100% real milk, real ice cream. It is just delicious. So this is the Robert Stack. Now, yep. it is like basically all of your brunch items combined into one food challenge, right? Talk to me about the layers and how you build it. So these are our famous pancakes, totally, totally from scratch. I love it. So this is our waffle. 
four link sausage, three pancakes, four or whatever we end up putting on <laughs> a bacon. This is the uh, French toast. Now we got three sunny side up eggs. Watch the ham. And then of course, don't forget the powdered sugar. It comes with the syrup like this, but David and I are gonna have some fun. I know my favorite part about this dish is that it is a food challenge. What do they win if they finish it? They have 25 minutes to finish it. If they finish it, they get it for free. Oh, wow, okay. And a Max and Louis t-shirt. You know what, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, you got this all prepared, this is the bite. The Robert Stack is a food challenge out here at Max and Louis. It's like all of your favorite brunch items crammed into one dish. You have the waffle, the pancakes, the French toast, eggs, bacon, sausage, and a chicken strip on top of that with the orange peel that's on there as well. You have to finish that. You have that butter and maple syrup that goes on there, powdered sugar. This thing is over the top now. More than 100 people have attempted this food challenge. Less than 10 have actually done it. Drew, thank you so much for having us out here. Oh, my pleasure. You guys, Max and Louis, it has so much variety on the menu. You also have Italian dishes, including a calzone that's loaded up Philly cheesesteak style and spaghetti and meatballs. Some of the biggest meatballs you're gonna find in town. This is where you gotta go. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I always have a great time. I'm gonna end it here though. I gotta go ahead and try one of these guys. They just look so good. Covered in the Parmesan cheese. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a half a meatball. Yeah. <laughs> Did you eat the whole thing? I'm good. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're traveling up to Dallas to try some award-winning bites at the State Fair. Peanut butter paradise. That's the bite. <laughs> and next on the show, we're headed to Houston to check out an iconic pizza joint. Oh, wow. That's pork and knife. Never pizza. disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're in Houston in the Upper Kirby area to go inside of a pizza place that's been around since 1976, serving up some amazing pies. Let's go inside, Star Pizza. Joining us now is Mike Piven. He's the operations manager out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Everything out here looks fantastic, but how did Star Pizza get started? So we started in 1976. Hank, who's the owner, came from Chicago with a bunch of friends and found that there was no good pizza here in Houston, in their opinion. So they decided to start up their own place, and here we are. So I mean, there's so much good pizza in Chicago and New York. I want to start with this pizza right here in front of us because it's something special. You got a little Texas twist to it, right? Definitely. It's our cowbell spice. Special. We started smoking our own brisket here on site. We do it once a week. When it runs out, it runs out like most good barbecue places. But it's cowbell uh, sauce. We make our own barbecue sauce. Barbecue smoked brisket. We top it with what we call the fixins, which is jalapenos and red onions. Oh, and a little bit of cheddar cheese. Right, I was gonna say a little cheddar kind of adds a little more salty punch to it, yeah. right? I love the name too. Here we go, this is the cowbell. Cheers to you, sir. Yes, sir. Look at this, I love how we both snapped it. <laughs> you go for that New York fold, that's the bite. Oh, wow. Ooh. The cowbell pizza has so much flavor going on. It's like a smokehouse stacked on top of a pizza, right? You have the jalapenos on there, the red onion. You also have some of that brisket that they're smoking right here in house, all sliced up and put on there. It is so good. Cheddar cheese, you have some of their house cheese on there as well. That crust is phenomenal. I mean, you're gonna eat this whole thing and not even know what happened. Now you also have salads made in house, and then you right here, you have a lasagna. I yeah. mean, this is a multiple step process. It takes a couple days, right? It sure does. It's made from scratch, homemade, layered. We make our own sauce, special blend of spices and everything inside. I gotta go in. You got a fork over there too. Oh yeah. Cheers to the lasagna. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mmm. Whoa. The lasagna is layered, stacked, made right here in-house. 
my goodness, it's so tender, it's cheesy, it's gooey. You have the ricotta, the mozzarella that's in there. You have some of the meat that's in there as well. And it's just loaded up every bite. You get a little bit of everything and it is really good. Meatballs, you could start with those too, right? You can, it's a meatball appetizer, comes with a toasted bread. I'll say it serves three, but it's usually a battle between two. It's going for the meatball. Cheers. Wow. Mm. The meatballs, again, made in house, and you could tell the flavor on the inside is something that they've curated over decades. Everything in there has a little bit of Italian punch to it, and they have the sauce on top, cheese finished on there as well. It comes two to an order on the appetizers, so I recommend getting enough for the whole table. Now this is the Chicago styles right here. You got them in the pan. Talk to me about each one of these. Sure, so this one is real signature classic at Star Pizza. It's our Joe's special sauteed spinach and garlic with our own pizza sauce and blend of mozzarella and provolone cheese. This one is on our Chicago style whole wheat deep dish. What about this one here? This is the Chicago style white crust deep dish. Chicken Alfredo has a little bit of gorgonzola, grilled chicken, basil, and sauteed onions. This pizza here in the front, you have whole garlic cloves on there. It looks fantastic, New York style. What's going on with this one? So it's salsa verde pizza, New York style white crust, easily foldable, whole cloves of pan seared garlic, poblano peppers, lots of cheese. All right, you've been around 1976. Yeah. I mean, you're a staple here in the Houston community, multiple locations across the city, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna grab a slice of this Chicago. Oh wow, it's still nice and hot. Here we go. Cheers to you. You guys, Star Pizza out here. You have to come check it out when you're in the city. Great pizza, New York style, Chicago style, something for the whole family. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely, thanks. Mm. Oh wow. That's pork and knife Never pizza. disappoint. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're traveling up to Dallas to try some award-winning bites at the State Fair. Peanut butter paradise, that's the bite. Yeah! And next on the show, we're heating things up in the Texas Eats outdoor kitchen with the Shiner Beer Brat recipe. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh my goodness, I'm going for two. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here at the Outdoor Kitchen and joining us again today, Jimmy Mork, the head brewmaster over there at the Spetzel Brewery. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me again, David. I uh, always look forward to coming here and cooking with you. Now, we have some delicious ingredients right in front of us and it smells like beer out here because we're cooking with it because that's what we're gonna do. We got all these Shiner products behind us. Talk to me about the brewery, Jimmy. Do you guys have any live events happening in the fall? This is Oktoberfest season. The Oktoberfest beer is out, uh, getting ready to do a lot of events uh, coming up. Uh, at the brewery, again, we're always, we, we got our own little Oktoberfest we're having here uh, uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, again, uh, we're open seven days a week now, uh, especially on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, we got a little live music, a uh, little food trucks there, and we got some, some other new things coming up that people need to stay tuned. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh. All right, stay right here. Don't move. Let's check this out. We got Oktoberfest on ice back here. Here, we got to pop them open. All right, cheers to you. Cheers. All right, and we got sausage right in front of us. I'm excited, this is a good day. This is a very good day. <laughs> And so the first thing you want to do to get this recipe going, you want to get a little saucepan and you want to put some beer in there. I put about three cans, onions, and your favorite seasoning. We're using some spicy chimichurri seasoning inside there. And you want to let this come to a boil. Now, you want to get your beer brats, but here's the thing. Beer brats can come like this. Here, hold that for me, Jimmy. They can come like this. Now, this is like a cheat code. It already has kind of the beer flavor, the essence in there. You can get it from the store. It is a nice product, but you can get the regular brats and you can make it yourself. It has so much more flavor. Plus, you get to use your own beer, which we're using Schneiderbach today. So you put them in there. As it's boiling, all that flavor is locking into that brat, and it's just juicing it up. You know, you want to get all of those onions in there, all that seasoning, we're using that chimichurri, 
And then once they get a little gray looking and they're getting nice and plump, you just pull them right out, put the skewers on them, and you're gonna put them right onto a hot grill. And you're looking for some grill marks. I mean, they're already boiled, so you don't have to really cook them too much. Now the veggie mix, poblanos, red, yellow, and you got a little bit of orange bell pepper in there, onions. I even found this little mix at the store parsley, garlic, a little bit of mushroom in there as well, and red onion. And then you just let that kind of saute off the side. You can let that little bit of butter, a little bit of salt in there. You want that all to kind of reduce, get a nice caramelized color on there. And that's what you're gonna throw on top of the cheese. Let that finish and oh my goodness, you have this product right here. And it's so good. Very simple, and it smells incredible, and it's a crowd pleaser. Well, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Jimmy, so I'm gonna cut you a piece there, okay? But we're gonna go straight down the middle and check this out, y'all. Look how beautiful that is on the inside. Oh my gosh. That's what's up. Look how cheesy and perfect that is. All right, Jimmy, grab your piece. Oh. <laughs> oh, you oh, won. I, got, I think that's I like the, the wishbone. Yeah. I got the cheese. <laughs> it's like the wishbone. Cheers, Cheers to you. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh my goodness, I'm going for two. Lots of lots of flavor on there. That Shiner beer, all that alcohol, it gets cooked out, but you're keeping all that flavor. It just gets locked in. You add the onion in there, that little bit of chimichurri that we use. Phenomenal flavors. I mean, it tastes like more. You want another one? I want another one. This is a really easy recipe to do. To get more information on how you can do this at home, be a rock star, make it for your family, follow the link on the screen. Did you win the cheese again? Man, you won the cheese again. All right, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. Wow. You're going to make this every day. That's really good. Thanks to our friends at the Lone Star Barbecue Pro Shop for supplying us with everything that we need to get grilling and smoking out here. And if you want to barbecue like a pro, just go check them out. They're in Lotus. You have all their information on the screen right here. You can get all kinds of seasoning, sauces, cast iron pans, everything you need to be a professional in your own backyard. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're traveling up to Dallas to try some award-winning bites at the State Fair. Peanut butter paradise. That's the bite. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Joining us now is Mark Cross, and we're gonna go learn more about all the employees here at Jordan Ford. So glad to be standing next to somebody my size. <laughs> this is Christina. She's been with us eight years. She's such a valuable employee, and she heads up our JET team, Jordan Enhancement Team. Tell us what that means to you. It means a lot to me. It's a very community service based, uh, donations, anything like that. Christina, I know the answer, but what is your favorite Ford vehicle? Definitely the Mustang. Thank you for everything you do for our customers and for being here today with me. Mark, it is so great to learn about all the employees. And for people to get more information about Jordan Ford, where do they go? JordanFord.com. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here at the Jordan Ford dealership and joining me on this adventure today, Casey Ogletree, the general manager out here. How you doing? And today it's gonna be carpooling with Casey and guess where we're taking you today? Where? To an iconic burger joint here in San Antonio. Now I know I took you to Burger Boy already, but now we're going to San Pedro and Hildebrand, just north of downtown, to go inside of a burger joint that's making some incredible burgers. I mean, the rolls are made from scratch. I mean, the patties are locally sourced. We're going to <gasps> Mr. Juicy. You ever been? I've never been. <laughs> Sounds like a good rival to Burger Boy, though. I <laughs> let's get on the road. We're gonna get driving. I'm gonna go check out Mr. Juicy. You ready? Sounds awesome. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, double cheeseburger. Is that gonna be a combo or just a double cheeseburger? Let's do the fries and the drink as well. Hello. How are you today? I'm Welcome. doing great. How are you? Good. Thank you for coming. Of course. Man. What's going on, brother? Oh, How you doing? Long time no see. How you been? I've been good. We're, so we're coming through. This is Mr. Casey Ogletree. Right he's, the, he's the general manager at Jordan Ford. Oh, right on. And he's a sponsor of the show, Texas Eats. And so I'm driving around town to some of the best drive through spots that I know of and that I enjoy. So I had to bring him to Mr. Juicy. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. One hand. Thank you so much. Oh, I got oh, it, oh. Got it, got it. <laughs> There you go. Oh boy. I think that's the thing. Thank oh you. My. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Exactly. Just right here. Casey, 
Casey, this is your first time having Mr. Juicy. It is. And as you can see, we did get the double meat, double cheese with the bacon. Now look on the inside of this thing, y'all. <laughs> I mean, that's it's just insane. loaded up. Now, wet sauce, when you get it to go, you can see there's some of the sauce on the top, but you have to get, you get the extra, right? Now, this is what makes this place special. It's actually a French steak sauce that you can get on the burger. And then what you wanna do, you wanna get crazy. Oh boy. I hope you brought an extra shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna, here, I'm gonna hold it up. And then at the count of three, we can pour it together. You hear, you ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's like chunks of goodness oh, in man, there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I like to save just a little bit. That's wet. For, <laughs> for the fries. <laughs> ah, I got it on my pants already. <laughs> All right, cheers. Cheers. All right, that's the, the Mr. Juicy Burger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Casey. Oh my gosh, you guys have to come out. If you haven't tried Mr. Juicy before, it is a fantastic spot right here on the corner of San Pedro and Hildebrand. The burgers are just next level. It's so different Amazing. than a lot of other places. That Angus beef that's on there and that steak sauce, the wet sauce that's on there as well, top notch. And the yeah. bacon, so crispy. Yep, if you don't get it wet, don't come. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. There we go. Texas Eats, we'll be right back. Get prepared for your New Year's celebration here at Circle K with a variety of items to choose from, including sodas, chips, candy. You can also get snacks, plus what I would consider one of my most important items. I love to have Shiner beer, plus you can get wine and some sparkling wine as well. Plus, when you're at Circle K, you can grab a Polar Pop, a Froster, or an iced coffee, one a day for only $8.99 a month. It is a fantastic deal. If you're at your party and you don't want to leave, don't worry. You can use the Favor app to have wine, beer, and other items delivered straight to your house. And don't forget, party responsibly, drive safe, and Happy New Year, San Antonio. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio and joining us on the show, Ricardo Chavira. Thank you so much for joining us. No, thanks for having me. This is Chili's with Chavira. I really <laughs> like this segment. And we're going around trying spicy things. And that's why we're at Wayne's Wings, very popular wing joint. We're gonna go inside. They got a little sweet, but they got the heat. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Let's do it. I'm not ready for it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're inside of the restaurant. We're in here. It's the lunch rush happening. So this place is packed. Pretty packed. And everybody's, I mean, you got sandwiches on the menu now. We got the chicken wings. All right, this is where it's at. Now, I wanted to dive through this with you and kind of go through an Please. adventure, okay? Okay. Because we got the funnel cake wing right here. Which I've, okay, I know what a funnel cake is. Yeah. But I've never had it on a chicken wing, so that's going <laughs> to be great. So it's like a lightly breaded chicken wing. You're throwing on some of that powdered sugar, the cinnamon. So it's going to taste like a funnel cake. It's gonna be messy. We're in black today. Cheers yeah, to you. Right, cheers to you, brother. All right, the funnel cake wing. Isn't that good? That's really good. It's always weird to incorporate like a dessert style of like flavor, taste, sugary on meat. Yeah. So I always find that interesting, and he did a good job with it. Yeah, I think he combines really well. It's a great way to start off a meal, but it's definitely not what we came here for. No. <laughs> no, but it was it was a great it way to good. start. It was good. Yes. This one right here, all right, I saw it's like a spicy lemon pepper. Ooh, okay. okay, so we're kind of moving up here. This is like the next level. All right, go for it. Are you a drums or flats guy? I like flats, but you know, yeah. for what we're doing right now, the, the drums, drums are easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to you. All right. Spicy lemon pepper. Let's try it. It actually does finish a little spicy in the back yeah. though. Yeah. It has, it's like, it's a little bit acidic. It has a sweetness to it. Really nice sweetness. Yeah. And then yeah. it kind of finishes just a little bit hot. Yeah. That is really yeah. good. I like the crunch on there too. All right, so the spicy lemon pepper, mm. kind of stepping it up. You know, we're starting kind of building up. 
uh, it had a little bit of sweetness to it, right? It had a sweetness, but I mean, it was like the perfect amount of sweet to hot. Yeah. Um, it's probably one of the best wings I've ever tasted. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah. put that on. And the there. crispiness on it. There, the yes. crispiness on it on all their wings. Yeah. This is the whole reason why we're doing it. This is why we're here. Yeah. Now this one's called the KK. It has a cayenne pepper sauce on there, kind of like a Tabasco. And then you have more like jalapeno. So we're stepping it up now. We're getting hotter. This one's gonna be the next level up, all right? No sweetness on this one. Make sure you got the jalapeno on top. There you go, cheers. cheers. The KK. It's got a little bit of heat to it. We're stepping it up. I mean, this is definitely the one that you want to have that has like a little bit of jalapeno, it has the cayenne, it has kind of like a hot sauce kind of vibe too, right? What I liked about it was the vinegariness of it. Yes. Like that really, it, it helped the heat, but it also helped kind of keep the heat regulated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You okay. need a regulator. Regulator. Big time. Yeah. Mount up. <laughs> You got the hottest ones now. This is the Creeper. Now, they're known for this wing being the spiciest wing on the menu. It's got the barbecue sauce, it's got the ghost pepper sauce on there. I'm still feeling a little bit of the heat from the, the KK. The, the it's kind of lingering. Yeah. Cheers to you, this Cheers. is the Creeper wing. Let's do it. <sighs> That's the bite. Oh, it's when you swallow it. <laughs> it, it builds up. <coughs> yeah. Oh, no, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> Dude, you got... <sighs> okay, there it goes. The longer it stays on the lips, it gets a little bad. <laughs> it's definitely a step above the KK, but it's this is a dual wool spice level, right? Mm -hmm. On the Ricardo meter, where are you putting this one? It's hurt. Good? It's good. Is that above doable? Hot. A little above doable. <laughs> a little hot. I don't want it. That creeper is hot. That is a very spicy wing. Wow, that's coming up. See, I brought my own handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to other bites that you've had in your life, where are you putting it? Top right. 10. Top 10. Wow. I would definitely say that's a top Ooh. 10 spiciest bite in SA. It just sneaks up on you. Uh, like you're like, oh, this is fine because of the sweet, and then bam. Mm -hmm. They do a really great job out here at Wayne's Wings. The team in the back, I mean, this is their lunch rush, and they're just killing it. Everybody's super happy out here eating super their wings. Super packed. Oh my goodness. All right, it's hot, it's spicy. You come out here for the sweetness, but you're definitely gonna feel the burn after you have those yeah. wings. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, ready Please. for another adventure later? Let's go. All right. Oh. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're traveling up to Dallas to try some award-winning bites at the State Fair. Peanut butter paradise, that's the bite. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Now, we're headed to the State Fair of Texas in Dallas to check out some award-winning fair food. Joining us now is Chris Easter. He is the owner out here at Texas Cheesesteaks. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, no problem, sir. Now, congratulations on your award-winning item this year. You won Best Sweet, and you got Peanut Butter Paradise. Yes, Talk to me about this item and how you came up with it. This, this item came from a bunch of ideas that resonated in my mind. I actually met a guy that was formerly incarcerated. He did 35 years. He was falsely accused. Whenever he used to go back to his room when he was locked up, he used to get a peanut butter, you know, honey bun and spread peanut butter on top of it. And my wife loved candy. And as a kid, I loved the honey bun. So one night I just marinated on it, went to sleep, and woke up, and voila, magic. <laughs> just that simple, I'm serious, like that simple. That's crazy, all right. It's that. a deep fry honey butter. We actually dip it in funnel cake, then we fry it, then we inject it with caramel, then we add um, Butterfinger on top, and then we plug it with a big Reese's cup where we put the caramel in, put a little one on top, add Reese's pieces around the top, then put an umbrella on it, then we rain on it with powdered sugar. <laughs> That's why it won right there. Talk to me about your cheesesteaks real quick and these drinks right here. This is kind of what makes you special out here. Yeah, this is what really gave me my name. This is the realest, this is our top selling sandwich. Uh, it's come with sauteed bell peppers and onions, chicken and steak, banana peppers and jalapenos, and also our special sauce that's called WAC. WAC, what does that stand for? 
wet <laughs> cheesesteak. <laughs> I'm gonna go hands on it. You wanna go hands on it? You go in, it's better with the hands. Well, you're gonna go with me. Okay, we can go together. We're going together. All right, come on, Chris. Peanut butter paradise. Peanut. Cheers to you. Ugh. That's the bite. The peanut butter paradise is such a fun idea. And it's so crazy, because when you look at it, you're gonna think it's gonna be very straightforward. You kind of know what you're gonna get into. Then you take the bite and you realize this is something very special and very different. All the deep flavors that are on there, they're crunchy, they're soft, there's caramel, there's candy. The candy is actually candy coated as well. You take that bite on there, you get a little bit of powdered sugar, it is so good, but you gotta make room for one of their cheesesteaks as well. That's what they're known for. And the realist is like, it is such a good bite. You got that sauce on there. Grab a juice, enjoy yourself. And Chris and everybody at the tent, they're just doing a great job. You guys gotta come check them out. There's a reason why this one, it's deep fried, it's loaded with flavor, it's delicious. Candy all on top. Mike, give me some elbow, bro. Woo! Chris, you know what you're doing out here, brother. Yeah. Come get the cheesesteak, the drinks, and the peanut butter paradise. I'm going in for another one. No trip to the State Fair of Texas is complete without a trip to Fletcher's Corny Dogs. These corn dogs are a staple out here. There are seven Fletcher stands located throughout the fair, so a corny dog is really never too far away. According to the Fletcher family, mustard is the only suitable condiment for a corny dog. Over half a million corny dogs are sold during the duration of the fair. That's 60,000 pounds of hot dogs. Fletcher's is also serving up jalapeno and cheese, a brisket dog, and other varieties. So when you're out at the State Fair of Texas, you know you gotta grab yourself a corny dog. Joining us now is Josie May. She is the co-owner out here at Nevin's Concessions. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having me. And you invented something pretty spectacular out here. In fact, I mean, you won the best bite. Talk to me about your creation and what went through your mind of creating it. Right. What we have here is the fried charcuterie board. It is fresh mozzarella, salami, prosciutto, green apples. It's in a balsamic and herb mixture. We throw that in a wonton, fry it to a golden crisp. We top it with creamy goat cheese and spicy honey. It came from my love of making charcuterie boards for friends and I was sitting in my last semester of college in May in my wine tasting class and I was thinking about the future and I left class and I called my mom and I said, fried charcuterie board. And she said, okay. And I was like, I know it's a winning, it's a winning idea. We just got to get the recipe there. We got in the kitchen, started experimenting. And as soon as we had it, I, I knew it was the perfect bite. Go ahead and grab one with me. Yes, sir. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. Every time. <laughs> it's the perfect bite. <laughs> Josie came up with this idea just on a whim, going through all these different flavors, all these different ideas, and I tell you what, it just works. You get all those different elements inside of this bite, this wonton, deep fried, and then you put that sweet, spicy honey sauce on top as well. The different cheeses, the meat, all of that into one bite, especially with that briny olive on the side, it is so good. You have to come out here to Nevin's Concessions over here at the State Fair. I mean. Fantastic bite. I love what you did out of here, Josie. Thank you so much for having us out here. Grab another one. I'm also going to get a little olive action on here. Oh, yeah. Here. Olive. There you go. That's the Cheers. way to do it. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats.